My dear brothers and sisters, I welcome you all on behalf of Voice of Saints. Today, our Holy Catholic Church celebrates the feast of Saint Bibiana. Saint Bibiana was a native of Rome, born in the 4th century, the daughter and the sister of martyrs. Flavian, her father, was arrested during the reign of Julian the Apostate, branded on the face as a slave, banished to Tuscany, where he died of his wounds a few weeks later. Her mother, Dafrosa, was beheaded two weeks later. Two daughters, Bibiana and Demetria, after the death of their parents, were stripped of all they had in the world and then imprisoned with orders to give them no food. The Roman officers offered them rewards if they would abandon their faith and threatened a cruel death if they would not conform. But they replied courageously that the goods and advantages of this world had no attraction for them and that they would endure a thousand deaths rather than betray their faith and their saviour. Demetria, after having pronounced this ardent defence, fell to the ground and expired at her sister's side. The officer gave orders that Bibiana be placed in the custody of a woman named Rufina, who was commanded to corrupt her or mistreat her. But the martyr made prayer as her shield and remained invincible. Enraged at the courage and perseverance of the young virgin, the persecutor ordered her to be tied to a pillar and whipped until she expired with scourges tipped with leaden plummets. The saint underwent this punishment cheerfully and died at the hands of the executioners. She was buried by a holy priest at a site where afterwards a chapel and then a church were built above her tomb. In 1628, the church was splendidly rebuilt by Pope Urban VIII and in it he placed the relics of the two sisters and of Saint Dafrosa, their mother. My dear brothers and sisters, on this earth we may have to face a lot of difficulties, but let us keep our trust on the sacred heart of our Lord Jesus Christ. Let us lose our life so that we may find the life in Christ. Once again, I wish you all a happy feast.